Hello everybody and welcome to my first tutorial. Um, so I've been working with uh, WISE integrated with Unity for the last uh, four months now and uh, people have been asking me a lot of questions how did I do it and uh, some people also uh, wanted me to do a tutorial so this is me doing a tutorial. Uh, let's get started. So um, what, what we will need uh, is to download the integration uh, the integration kit uh, I actually using uh, a older version of WISE using um, uh, 2.6 2014 2.6 uh, the newer in the newer the newest um, the newest integration kit doesn't work uh, with that version so I'm gonna use the uh, older version uh, 13 2.9 so I'm gonna download it now um, Let's go. So, uh, meanwhile, it's down. Then let's uh, start up our Unity. I will create a new project on the desktop. Uh, Unity tutorial. We'll name. We'll make a new folder. Name it uh, Unity Wise. And we're gonna create. We're gonna need the character controller, so we can walk around and play so we'll get the integration I'm gonna put it in the forward folder as well I'm gonna put it right here and uh, after the project is created oh okay so after the project need to be more patient after the project is created we can fire up wise in this tutorial I'll be going through the basic uh, the basic integrations uh, setup, very very basic. Then in uh, future tutorials we dive in um, a little bit a little bit f further. So usually when I'm creating my Wise project, usually I'm doing it inside my Unity project. So if you have a um, uh, more than uh, if it's more than you working on the project, you don't need to worry about people uh, updating people's Wise project. So you always, uh, everybody always up to date. Uh, so I'm just gonna create a folder here. I'm gonna call it Wise Project. Um, I'll put it here. Let's select the folder. And we're gonna call this uh, Wise Unity. Okay. Uh, we don't need this. Those things. Oh, maybe a reverb. Um, mm -mm, don't need those samples. So, yeah. Here we go. In this tutorial, I won't be going into um, uh, a lot of how to set up things in in Wise. It's be more Unity focused, because there's a lot of tutorials out there about uh, Wise and not enough about Unity with Wise. Yeah, this this thing. I noticed that um, there is one uh, web file inside. Uh, inside the isotope plugin that is corrupted. I'm not using the isotope plugin because it needs a specific license so I just delete it to remove this error. So we have our... Uh, I'll just rearrange it quickly. Okay so we have our um, Unity uh, project set up and we have our WISE project. Uh, the next thing is we want to add um, the integ the integration package, the compressing package. Yes, um, and this we know will uh, fire up. So as you can see, it's already recognized uh, the Wise project inside uh, my Unity project. You already selected the correct path. And the generated audio banks will be uh, generated in audio generated audio banks. That's fine. Uh, let's start. Awesome. So as you can see, what what did that do? That uh, created this uh, game object right here, which is uh, Wise Global uh, has the Wise uh, initializer. Um, it has the path to the um, uh, generated sound banks. Also, uh, inside, um, inside wise. Oh, wait, yeah, wise settings. Here you can see the path 
uh, to your project. It's an XML file um, which holds all, all the data. Where is the s audio? Uh, where is the um, uh, sound banks? And uh, where is your uh, Wise project? So also it changed on the camera. It removed the Unity native Unity audio listener and put an audio kinetic uh, audio listener. Uh, everything looks good and you also get this Y speaker um, the Y speaker is updated live uh, when you create things in Wise you just need to remember to save those things in Wise so let's start with the basics let's create a new scene and call this uh, we call this scene uh, sound test so um let's start setting up our our unity project let's have a directional light here uh drag in uh, no, let's create a plane where is a plane plane let's make it 10 by 10 by 10 directional okay this is our plane nice um let's put in our first person controller and we can delete this extra camera right here because the first person controller already has a camera and you can see oh it didn't update it hmm, interesting so yeah we can remove the audio listener and put uh, the audio kinetic listener yeah um, okay and now let's create a cube that will be our um, sound trigger so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, trigger a sound when the players um, enters enters the cube we're gonna make this cube a little bit bigger five by five and when he leaves the cube uh, let's make it a trigger so okay now let's go to our wise project and it will ask you to reload because we integrate with uh, Unity. Um, now let's go to our folder. I have some uh, basic assets here. Uh, this is for my from my current project. Um, I didn't create those assets. Those were done by our audio collaborators. Uh, this is uh, <laughs> Sphere Open and Sphere Close. Two sounds. Very simple. We're gonna drag drag them into Wise import and you c and uh, we need to uh, we need to um, uh, convert the file so wise will be happy with it uh, the short the shortcut is control c uh, for windows uh, okay and we can press inside the audio engine now we will create uh, events let's say play um, we're gonna call it. Um, let's remove. Oh, sorry. Let's remove those things here. Um, yeah, sounds about right. And we create another event for open. Let's remove those things as well. So we have. Uh, if you go to event, the events tab, we have our two events. Now we need to create an an sound bank. We create a new sound bank. We we'll call it Wise Unity Sound Bank, and we need to go to the uh, Sound Bank Manager F7 uh, shortcut for F7. We select uh, the sound bank we want. We add the desired effects that we want. Sorry, I'm I'm going a little bit fast on the Wise part. Uh, I again, there's a lot of Wise uh, tutorials out there. Um, so we we need to uh, select uh, to which platform we generating the um, the audio banks, and in user settings we want to generate headers. Uh, Unity uses those headers f header files, and yeah, basically it works with the the header files. Be sure to generate those. Um, yeah, looks good. Let's let's generate the uh, sound banks. And now we also need to save Control S, and um, you can see here the audio populate is ticked, uh, so it will automatically update every time I save my Wise project. It will automatically update um, the events and the sound banks. 
Um, yeah, I'm using an older version of the integration, um, but I noticed that the newer version has uh, a better UI, a more user user intuitive uh, user intuitive UI. But um, the integration part, I think, it's uh, pretty much the same. So we want this cube uh, to play uh, when I enter its trigger to play this sound. So we can just drag and drop and it will automatically create a key ambient. That was just uh, uh, one of the audio kinetic events. Uh, a key ambient that is um, that, that will play the sound open event name and we can say trigger on trigger enter. Um, this uh, environment aware is if we making a 3D sound and we want it to play a sound in the world uh, so it will have a, a 3D positioning that's basically panning left to right we need to add a rigid body. Um, let's just let's just add it. So use other no. Uh, use other objects. It's uh, uh, if the other object has some uh, events that are on trigger enter, it will play those events instead of th this objects. So once we tick that off, it will play the events on this object. So yeah, I think if we go now and play, it should play the sounds. Come on. The only problem I noticed with uh, Y so far is that. Um, you can make a web build with it. Oh man, it's too too high. That's the good thing about Unity, you can change things while playing. And it doesn't play. Why it doesn't play? Because it doesn't it didn't found the event. Of course it didn't found the event because I we didn't load the audio bank. Um so we want the player because uh, usually I notice like uh, when you when you load an audio bank and you destroy stuff or you change things in the scene if you destroy the object that will that loaded the audio bank um, things get messy and it breaks so now our player is loading the audio bank uh, so it should understand all the all the events as you can see on trigger enter I'm entering the trigger and it plays the sound um, Let's move it down a little bit, and now let's let's make another event on trigger on triggered exit. It will play close on trigger. Oh, sorry, on trigger exit. It will play the close the close sound. Again, I'm not going into uh, a lot of coding things here. It's really basic, really simple. So I enter the trigger. <laughs> And I exit the trigger. I enter it, and I exit. It. So, yeah, pretty basic. We're now playing sounds in Unity using Wise. So another thing that I noticed that um, uh, the native Wise scripts uh, they don't allow you to specify specific game objects that will trigger uh, the events on this cube. Uh, for example, if I create. Um, if I create a new game object, uh, like a new cube, we'll call it uh, player trigger. I'm gonna attach it to the player. I'm gonna put it around here. And this seems about right. Um, and I'm gonna play. No, every every on trigger enter that is detected on this cube will trigger will will trigger the events. It's well, it's not triggering because this game object needs to have a rigid body for it to trigger so the cube is triggering the events and the player is triggering the events I want only this game object to trigger those events uh, so for that I wrote a triggering tool uh, like uh, I'll modified the script the audio kinetic script a little bit to add this little this little button here specific trigger so uh, what this allows you to do is specify uh, specific triggers that will trigger those events so you can tick it and here you can specify what game object will trigger the events on this cube will trigger this event and let's do the same thing for on trigger exit and if we play it right now um, you can see 
that if the player is enters the trigger, nothing happens. And if the cube enters the trigger, it triggers. So yeah. Um this is, this was this part of the tutorial. Uh, in the next tutorial we'll go into um more uh, coding how to control how to control the events in wise through code in unity uh, we'll go more in depth about that um thank you so much uh tutorials are hard to make so it seems thanks <laughs>